There are three good reasons you should watch this video. Number one, you're trying to plug in your USB device in a hurry. Number two, it's dark or it's hard for you to see the socket. Number three, you try to plug in one way. When it doesn't work, you flip to the other way. When you do this in back and forth, many times the inside insert will be bent and damage the socket. Let me demo how to do it. This is a USB plug. On one side has a symbol like this. So this side has symbol and this side has just manufacturer logo. So find the symbol like this. Let me just put a tape here so you know which side it is. So on this side has a symbol like this. And you face this up. You plug in facing the icon up how you plug in. Very easy, just one shot. You do not need to try this side first. You know by design this is facing up. Now the problem is there's some manufacturer doesn't have this icon. For example, this is a GoPro. It only has a GoPro. And on this side, there's nothing there. Manufacturer logo is here, but it's also the icon side. So in this case, how do we identify which side it is? Here, I have uh, four different ways to identify. Of course, the first way is the uh, graphical symbol. I'll show you another symbol, is, which is this one. And you can see more clear. So this is uh, called a USB 3.0. This will have a higher speed and look at the color is blue. Are they interchangeable? Yes, they are interchangeable, but unless you match 3.0 to 3.0, you will not have the benefit of higher speed of 3.0, but it is compatible. One of the symbol, if you find it, then you identify the side of icon side. But what if it doesn't have, then other way to identify and look at this closely. The plug has a metal enclosure. Inside, there's some insulation on one side. So on this side, it's only single layer. It doesn't have an insulation. And this side is the icon side. Single layer is the icon side and double layer is the opposite. Another way is you see there are holes here. And on one side, when it doesn't have a insulation, it's hollow. The other side is solid. Because the holes are blocked by the insulation. Yeah, what are the holes there for anyway? Yeah, the holes are not decoration. I will demonstrate. This is the socket and this is the plug. The socket has a latching mechanism. You see the little hand here. And if I plug in and look at the latching mechanism, if I Put it in, will go into the hole so it's holding, so it doesn't come off. So you have to have some force to unplug it. So the latch will go into the square holes. That is what it's for. The last one is, you see the one has icon. It doesn't have any seam at the center. And the other side with insulation, you see it has a seam, horizontal seam in the center. So the one doesn't have a seam, it's the sides. Once you identify this side, then you need to match that side to the socket. There are four orientation of the socket. If it's horizontal, just like this, you face this up, it's 99%, it will work. So that's the first way. The second way is the vertical. You could have a vertical on the side. So here are two examples on each side. So the icon side should face you. Either this one, this side, or on this side, the icon should face you if it's on the side. What if it's not on the side, in the front? If it's in the front vertical, then the icon side is likely to point to the right side, on this side. Basically, the design specification says easy to be seen by user. It's up to the designer to interpret it. What is the most obvious way? And if it's on the back, if it's a vertical and to the back, then the icon side is likely point, 
pointing away from the side. So the icon side is on this side. And you can notice the very small symbol on the socket as well. The arrow is pointing to the icon side. If you can't remember, you just put a, a tape here, or you put some white out here on, on your side. And when it's dry, it has a little indentation. You can use your hand to feel it. So when it's dark, you will know which side it is.